okay dear students in this lecture i am going to explain about solar constant and there is an instrument uh, using to find the solar constant is called angstrom pyreliometer and the concept using this concept of solar constant we can find the temperature of the sun how we can find the temperature of sun these are three topic we are going to discuss in this lecture so first of all i am going to explain what is meant by a solar constant so we know the solar is the sun is the an energy source for us so sunlight sun in the light, uh, light gal, so reaching to us uh, and we getting the higher form of energy so in the presence of uh, atmosphere the lot of energy we are uh, scattered or absorbed by the atmosphere so we getting the so less amount of energy from the sun so what's meant by solar constant so actually the solar constant is the amount of heat energy absorbed per minute by the square centimeter of a perfect black body surface placed at a mean distance uh, mean distance of the earth from the sun in the absence of atmosphere so the surface being held perpendicular to the sun rays so what do you mean by a solar constant so sunlight സണ്ണിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്ന എനർജി റേഡിയേഷൻസ് ഒരു ബ്ലാ ഒരു പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ബ്ലാക്ക് ബോഡി നമ്മളതിൻ്റെ സർഫസ് വരുന്ന റേസിന് പെർപ്പൻഡിക്കുലർ ആയിട്ട് വെക്കുന്നു സ എർത്തിൽ നിന്നും സണ്ണിൽ നിന്നും ഒരു മീൻ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഒരു ഡിസ്റ്റൻസിൽ വെച്ച ഒരു ബ്ലാക്ക് ബോഡി സർഫസിലൂടെ ഒരു മിനിറ്റിൽ അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു സ്ക്വയർ സെൻറ്റിമീറ്റർ ഏരിയയിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോകുന്ന എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഹീറ്റ് എനർജി എത്രയാണോ അതിനെയാണ് സോളാർ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് in the absence of atmosphere suppose we are assuming the atmosphere is it's not the so there is no absorption or uh, scattered by uh, atmosphere I mean, atmosphere karana undavuna losses onnu illatha or case il oru black body ilude kadannu povuna oru minute 1 square centimeter surface area ilude per 1 minute il kadannu povuna amount of heat energy absorb cheyina heat energy athrayano adana solar constant endu parayunnathu so solar constant is the amount of heat energy absorbed per minute by the square centimeter of a perfect black body surface placed at a mean distance of the earth from the sun in the absence of an atmosphere the surface being held perpendicular to the sun rays so e solar constant determine cheyan nammal use cheyina or instrument aanu angstrom pyreliometer or simply pyreliometer so suppose s is observed solar constant using the pyreliometer we can measure the uh, solar constant so angane measure cheyina value on s engil maybe the s0 is the true solar constant because there is a correction due to the atmospheric term so and z is be the altitude of sun then there is a relation connecting s s0 and z so s is a s0 plus a raised to six z we raise some constant so suppose i take the logarithmic log s so log s will give log s0 plus six uh, z of log a so here if i draw the uh, suppose if for a different different altitude i can measure the uh, value of solar constant so and i taking the logarithmic of s measured value of s along the y axis and the altitude seek of z z is the altitude of the sun along x axis if i draw this uh, log s curve i getting a straight line and it will intercept the y axis this intercepting point if i can not as log s zero from this log s zero i can find the if i get this graph i can find the log s i i can find the s0 from this intercepting point and it will easily we can calculate the actual solar constant it's around 1400 watt per meter square and it is value in 1.9 to 2.6 calorie per square centimeter okay so this is all about the angst, uh, how what is meant by solar constant so the next what is meant by angstrom pyreliometer so these are the setups of angstrom pyreliometer uh, there is a mainly two strip is there a and b so a and b is blackened by an 
Pyrelometry is an instrument which is used to find the amount of incident heat radiation on solar constant. Angstrom pyreliometer consists of two identical strips A and B of black and platinum foil. So here A and B are blackened by a platinum foil. And strip A is exposed to the sun. Suppose uh, strip A is exposed to the sun and B is shielded by a covering sheet C. And suppose a, I connected a thermocouple is here. Thermocouple having a sensitive galvanometer with and the, with uh, the one portion of thermocouple is connected to junction A and another is at B and it having a galvanometer if A and B having the same temperature uh, the, there is no current flow there is no deflection on the galvanometer so a thermocouple having a sensitive galvanometer with A as one junction and B as other junction is used so here strip can be heat used and there is another arrangement for the heating up of the strip B so here is strip B B in the strip heat A and we have a current arrangement and using the rheostat we can adjust the current and using this uh, adjustment of current we can heat up the strip coil B and suppose when both strips A and B have there is no uh, both suppose the shielded from the sun so it means there is no uh, heat energy absorbed by the A or B then there the both junction are the same temperature and the galvanometer shows there is no deflection this is the initial setup and suppose when strip A is exposed to the sun A and the strip sunlight exposed to the angle and B shield the region that is actual C and the covering of the shield is the case. In the case, A receive in the shield strip, A receive in the heat radiation, sun in the heat radiation receive in the carnum, other temperature could so temperature rises the same. So there is a temperature difference between A and B. There is a in thermo two ends of thermocouple. So the galvanom there is no passage of electricity will be there. So it galvanometer show a deflection. So, we have to do deflection. We have to do the heat. The current pass is the rheostat adjusted. The strip B is gradually heated by passing current through it. And current is adjusted in such a way that there is no deflection in the galvanometer. Galvanometer deflection is zero. The current pass is the same. Deflection is There is no passage of current. So, it means strip A and B are again at the same temperature. Tendum or a temperature reach the man silakuna adubole, they are receiving the same heat energy. The same temperature at the angle, other lake at the heat energy, same amount on the Namukid in the man silaka. So now we can easily calculate the uh, this are the setup. So heat energy produced by an electric current, that is strip B and down the electric current to current down the heat energy than a voltage into current I into V. And A is sunlight in the light where sunlight is area uh, strip A is on the current. And then we have strip A is area of cross section A on the ground. That is black and chain surface the absorption coefficient. Suppose let small a is absorption coefficient. And also S is a solar constant. The amount of solar energy absorbed. Strip A absorbed the total heat energy in the world. Per unit square centimeter per minute amount of heat energy absorbed in the solar constant. So, a solar constant is total area into absorption coefficient. A into S into A is the total amount of solar energy absorbed by strip A. So, strip A and strip B having this equal temperature. So, the total heat energy absorbed in strip A or heat received by strip B is are equal. So galvanometer null deflection can in the same A into S into A is equal to IV. So from this equation we can find the S is equal to I into V by A into capital A where I is the current, V is the voltage, A is the absorption coefficient and capital A is the uh, area of the strip A. So from this one we can uh, calculate the measured value of s now for different kind of altitude we can measure this 
s value so this way we can find the um, we can measure the uh, solar constant using angstrom pi radiometer if i get the uh, different measured value of s for different z now we can i can draw this graph and once i can draw in the using this graph i can find the actual value of uh, actual value of solar constant and this is the idea of the angstrom pi radiometer okay okay so the next is temperature of the sun i can find the sun temperature so we know the sun has a core portion and there is a photosphere surrounding by this core and the core having the temperature around 10 raised to 7 kelvin uh, range and the photosphere having the temperature around 6000 kelvin so average temperature of this sun is a 6000 kelvin so usually we are taking the temperature sun temperature as 6000 kelvin so how we can find it that is our next day so here i am using we know uh, first of all we are uh, going to assume the sun to be a perfect black body and uh, and also we have we know from the stefan law radiant energy per second per meter square so you know, black body surface it is radiate in the energy sigma t raised to 4 it is a four, proportional to fourth power of temperature sigma t raised to 4 so from the stefan law an amount of radiant energy emitted by the sun per second. So, the sun is a perfect black body. Aanu, a oru sun, uh, sorry, the sun is a black body. Aanu, namal a sun is a total radiation. We, oh, if R capital R is the radius of sun, angle, 4 pi r square into E, where E is the radiant energy per second per meter square. So, from this Stefan law, E is nothing but sigma t raised to 4. So, the total energy radiated by the sun is 4 pi r square sigma t raised to 4 and this much energy found on the surface of the sphere of radius equal to the radius of earth orbit so we know earth in the orbit and that is the sun in the chitum is the current in the orbit the atmosphere started in the hour uh, atmosphere on earth in the radius or our complete sphere ne, number and radius is smaller on the lens angle i'm going to radius or sphere consider that a sphere is complete radiation ne absorb here. Here, a radiation is this one surface like a fall here. And the radius, earth in the orbital radius is small angle. Angane all or spherical portion like this energy in the one fall here. So suppose s s zero be the solar constant, then energy received per second by this sphere is small r radius like angane all or sphere receive in the uh, energy in the world, 4 pi r square into s0 so s0 normal and then solar constant so i getting two equation one is total amount of energy emitted by the sun so this much energy is fall on the red oh, one sphere with a radi radius of uh, earth orbit so we know both are same so from this equation 1 and 2 i can return 4 pi r square sigma t raised to 4 is equal to 4 pi r square is 0 from this equation i can easily find t raised to 4 is equal to r square by r square into s0 by sigma where r square is a um, orbital radius so earth in the orbital radius and capital r in the sun in the uh, radius on s0 solar constant sigma in the stefan constant uh, boltzmann constant okay sorry stefan constant sigma and from this equation i can easily find t is equal to r by r all square into s0 by sigma raised to 1 by 4 this is the temperature of the sun and the temperature so using this substituting the values we are going to get a t is equal to 5730 kelvin it is a uh, Stefan constant of which number say Stefan Boltzmann law which is then Wayne's displacement law by which to number can the young temperature can we know lambda t is equal to a constant for this case that's constant is equal to, equal to 0 0.2892 so we know the lambda maximum uh, energy radiated in the wavelength number 4910 raised to minus 8 centimeter on so substituting this value 
we are getting a temperature of the sun as a 5902 Kelvin. So this much is the temperature. So using these two methods, we can find the temperature of the sun. Actual temperature of sun normal take in usually consider 6000 Kelvin. So both are the almost same. So 6000 Kelvin is actual temperature. So in this way, we can find the temperature of the sun using the Stefan law or the Wayne's displacement law. So this is all about today's class. I am, we all, uh, what we have discussed, we have discussed about solar constant, what is meant by solar constant and how we can find the solar constant using the angstrom pi rheliometer and finally we are uh, find the temperature of the sun using the idea of uh, Wayne's displacement law or the Stefan laws. Okay, so please go through this now. And uh, okay, thank you.